Since day Russian President Vladimir Putin authorized a war of aggression against Ukraine, the Biden administration has devoted itself to explaining why it is important for United States to help Kiev counter Russian military aggression. President Joe Biden who handled Ukraine-related issues as former President Barack Obama's vice president, took command of the effort. It could be argued that resuming Ukraine's military action is Biden's top foreign policy priority. Until October 7, when Hamas d more than 1,400 people in Israel. In the first year of the war, Biden didn't have much to do. Heavy Russian armament, the siege of Mariupol. Repeated war crimes by Russian troops have shocked consciences to such an extent that Americans were already largely convinced that Washington and its European allies should have shot Putin held him responsible for the grisly incident. You didn't need work at a respected public relations firm on Madison Avenue to know that standing up. Tyrant Putin was a good enough selling point for ministration. The same can be said for Europeans whose leaders suddenly have to accept the fact that 21 st century Europe is not as enlightened as it was thought, but 21 months after the war began, it is becoming increasingly difficult for U.S. policymakers to defend Ukraine's unwavering support. The American public is still willing to provide military aid to Ukraine, but the numbers are dwindling as the conflict drags on. In July 2022, the Chicago Council on Global Affairs found that 72% of Americans support sending weapons and other military supplies the Ukrainians. Compared to last month, this figure dropped 63%. The war in Ukraine is now a partisan affair. The same Chicago Council poll shows an 18-point drop over the same period among Republicans on the question of whether arms donations to Kiev are appropriate. A similar mood prevails in the GOP-controlled House of Representatives. In September, nearly half the Republican conference voted to cut $300 million in security aid to Kiev. In sign of where the House of Representatives stands now, the lower house passed a supplemental funding bill introduced by House Speaker Mike Johnson that provides nearly $14 billion in aid to Israel and leaves Ukraine aid for another day its decision that brings him into conflict. He took the course with his Senate counterpart, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky pauses while speaking at the National Archives in Washington, D.C. On September 21, 2023, Brendan Smilowskiafp via Meanwhile, thousands of miles away from Washington, D.C. The Ukrainian counteroffensive appears to be on its last legs. Before the operation began June, Ukrainian officials had high hopes to advance towards the Sea of Azov, divide Russian-occupied territory in two, and gradually isolate Russian forces Crimea. This would make it even more difficult for Moscow to defend itself indefinitely. Even after five months, none of the